Here's three flanks to get behind your enemy, which is really useful because they can only counter it with a super counter or something like an explosive wave. I'm on classic controls, but I'll explain it for standard too. This is what the first flank looks like. This involves the heavy finish, so you want to pause and check which punch it's on. For Super Saiyan God Vegeta, it's on his second punch. First, go for a heavy finish. Then you want to drag and descend down until you get out of the stepping barrier. Drag and descend is double R2 on classic, and it's L2 and R2 on standard. The stepping barrier is the area where you feel really sluggish and can't move freely. So you can see it's pretty much like a magnet around your opponent and now you can move freely once you're out of it. And it's the same, it's not just horizontal, it's vertical as well. Now I can move freely. So you want to drag and descend down until you're out of that stepping barrier pretty much. After drag and descending out of the stepping barrier, go for a short dash behind them with X and then you can start comboing them from the back. Make sure to practice the dragon descend part to get a feel for the edge of the stepping barrier. You don't want to go too far down otherwise it will take too long to flank and they can stop you. And you don't want to be inside of it otherwise it won't work. If your opponent is guarding you can go for a fully charged heavy finish into a guard crush. And then you can do the same steps to flank behind them. A nice setup for this is to do a lift strike into a heavy finish with triangle, then immediately go for the flank behind. This is what the second flank looks like. This involves a Kiai cannon or a Ki blast cannon, so check which punch it's on, and for me it's the fourth punch. So first, go for the Kiai cannon. Then you want to go for a short dash behind your opponent, but you have to slightly delay the input so that your enemy isn't in the stepping barrier. Don't hold your direction directly forward, it should be diagonally forward, to either left or right. If you click dash too quickly, then you'll be in the step-in barrier and you'll do a step-in instead. After the dash around him, immediately go for regular key blasts and then you can go into any melee string you want. If your opponent is guarding, you can go for a level 3 charge Kia cannon and do the same, but it only works consistently on the ground. I recommend using it in the air if they don't block your ki cannon. This is what the third flank looks like. You can use this to immediately switch from defense into an offensive counter attack. First hold guard until your opponent's combo or rush string ends. Immediately drag and ascend or descend out of the stepping barrier. Go for a short dash behind them and then start your combo.
These are all simple but effective ways to flank and go for safer combos overall.